so let us talk about the security of a forklift there are some basic operating procedures that you need to learn the first thing is the forks when you are driving your forklift your forks should be no more than six inches from the ground when the forklift is parked the forks should be flat on the ground and parallel as this one is the safe operation of the forklift requires that you wear your safety belt at all times now entering the forklift entering the forklift usually requires that you do something that's called a three-point touch so you are going to touch the forklift in three different places so here you have a handle that you hold here you have a step that you step on and here you have another handle on the seat that you are going to hold so your left hand is going to be here your right foot is going to be here because this is on the right side of the forklift and your right hand is going to be here what that ensures is that if you're in an environment where it may be a little wet say for example a, um, a cold storage and you're operating a forklift um, it is going to be quite slippery so what you do not want to do is try to just step up step up right here have your boot your shoes your whatever being wet and you're sliding off so you slide off and you have only one point of contact and you go flying all over and injure yourself that is one of the most common injuries of forklift operators falling slipping and falling as they're getting in or out of their forklifts so you need to be very very careful when you're doing exactly that so these are your three points of contact there is your step right there there's your left hand hold and there's your right hand hold of course many people will hold right here because it does provide a slightly better leverage especially if you're a taller forklift operator now let's talk about lights now this here is called a light curtain this emits a red light whenever the forklift is in reverse you are going to hear that sound there's also going to be this blue light that comes on and it projects way back somewhere here and this is for let me turn that off and that is to ensure that if you're coming out of a confined space such as a trailer that light will indicate to somebody way before you get out of the trailer that a forklift is backing up this is called a light curtain and that red light there is projected by that lamp right there there are two of them on one on either side as a normal operation also there is another blue light that is just before the forks and it is projected by this projector right here and of course it's it's adjustable so it can be moved so you can get it here and you can have it as close as you want or as far as you want depending on the operation and where you the your operating environment so these are all your safety issues um, your see and of course you have a flasher to indicate to anyone around who may not be able to see the forklift but they can see the forklift uh, the flasher as uh, that indicates that the forklift is in fact in operation and because it is a propane forklift 
there is always a fire extinguisher in fact you cannot operate your forklift unless your fire extinguisher is operational so this is one of the things that you must check now speaking of checks and safety before you operate your forklift every time and every shift before you operate your forklift you must do what is called a circle check your circle check is going to involve checking your tires to ensure that your tires are in good operating condition they do not have too many chunks missing as you can see these are special tires these are white rubber and they are designed to work in this kind of environment where you do not want to an environment that needs to be clean so you do what is called a circle check you look around you make sure there is nothing that is untoward on your forklift you're looking for any sort of bumps or bruises or dents or anything like that you are going to also check your propane if it's a propane uh, powered forklift ensure that you have enough gas and uh, so you know when your gas may be out you're going to check your connections to ensure that your connections are tight you're going to check the security of the propane tank you're going to check the security ensure that your tank is still properly secured you're going to check your seat to ensure that your seat is in proper working condition you're going to check your belt to ensure that your belt is in working condition so and your belt works and you're going to go around check all your wheels check all your tires ensure that your all, all your lights are in working condition you are going to check your forks to ensure that your forks are in working condition you're going to check the retention on your forks make sure that they're in working condition and you are going to check your hydraulics to ensure that there are no leaks so you are going to check all your connections you're going to check your hydraulic cylinders to make sure they are not leaking you check your hydraulic cylinders you're going to check your chains you're going to check all your chains ensure that they are properly lubricated check your cylinders here see this one is completely dry no leak whatsoever and finally you are going to turn your forklift on And you are going to check the operation of your forks. You're going to check the tilt. So check the tilt. And you are going to check your your shift. tilt is fine and there you go and of course you are going to check put it in reverse make sure that all your reverse apparatus are working and then you would move off back and forth and check your braking system ensure that your brakes are working and your circle check would be complete